Hi, I'm Lucy Mills, founder of Your Ideal Fit, a service providing premium in-home Pilates-based fitness training. I'm about to take you through a 15 to 20 minute stretch and mobility session designed to help improve your flexibility and mobilize the spine. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy. Sitting with the legs crossed, spine upright, almost like you're sitting against a wall. And let's just start with a few breaths. Breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Fill the lungs with air, feeling the rib cage expand in a three-dimensional way. And as you exhale, really feel yourself emptying the lungs of air before you take that new breath in. Let's do at least four breaths here, keeping the spine long. Feel that imaginary wall at the back of the head, the shoulders, and the pelvis area. Let's take a little movement through into the head and neck. Dip the one ear to the shoulder, and then up and over to the opposite side. And to deepen the stretch, reach the opposite arm away, flexing into the wrist, reaching the heel of the hand away, and take the same arm over the head, using the weight of the arm to deepen the stretch. Try not to pull down. Opposite side, reach away with the heel of the hand, same arm, just over the head, let the weight of the arm deepen the stretch. And then we're gonna take a look, side to side. Only take it as far as feels comfortable. Let's do about two to three sets. And then chin to chest and looking up. Almost imagine there's a tennis ball at the back of the neck. So you're not cranking into the back of the neck, you're lengthening and then extending. And then let's just come into some head rolls. Let's do four head rolls round to the right and four head rolls round to the left, going through all the different positions you've just found. Just make the breath fluid here, breathing in and out, whatever feels comfortable for you. Coming into the shoulders, we draw the shoulders up toward the ears and then lower them down. Still imagining you're against that wall, so feel the shoulders glide up the wall and glide down so we don't hunch them and round them forward as we do this. Then let's protract, retract. So reaching the arms out in front of you, palm facing palm, you inhale, narrow the space between the back of the shoulder blades and exhale, widen the space between the back of the shoulder blades. You do three to four sets of these before settling them in the middle in their widest position. And then let's come into some shoulder rolls. Forward, up, around and back, four to the back, and then reversing from the back, up and around, down to the front, four, back to front little torso twist. Exhale, rotate, look toward that back arm. And then inhale, transition, exhale, rotate to the other side. So you're lengthening before you take that torso twist and just resting that front hand on the knee to help assist in that rotation. Two sets or four rotations. And then we can come into our side bend. Breathe in, lift the arm, exhale, side bend. Breathe in to restack the spine and exhale, lower the arm, repeating on the other side. That supporting arm, make sure we don't keep it too locked and too straight. Soften the elbow, soften the shoulder. And as you side bend, feel the opposite hip. Press down toward the floor to keep the pelvis level, hips level. Let's do four side bends, two sets. And then reach the legs out in front of you, at least shoulder width apart. And we're gonna come into our spine stretch forward. So again, starting like you're sitting up against a wall, Peel the head off the wall, tips of the shoulders, base of the shoulders. When you feel the tummy crease at the belly button, stop there and then you inhale, restack the spine. Just showing you from the side, you want to think about keeping the pelvis up against the wall. So you're just thinking about the upper body flexing forward and down. So you get a little stretch through the upper midsection of the spine. If you can't sit up on the sit bones, feel free to just bend the legs or even sit up on a block at this point. Now grabbing something like a dressing gown belt, you're going to sit, one leg bent in front of you, heel in line with the belly button and the nose, other leg sent out on the diagonal, holding the ends of that dressing gown belt. You're going to rotate to face the leg, the long leg, and then nod the chin to the chest and take that spine stretch forward we were just performing in the previous exercise. Inhale, rotate to face the long leg. Exhale, chin to chest, peel off that wall, keep the pelvis in neutral. Inhale, restack, and exhale, face front. 
the angle of the thighs should be even and balanced. On the last one, hold it there and then lengthen out of the flex spine position to deepen the hamstring stretch before returning up to a vertical spine and taking a side bend over that long leg. Exhale to side bend. Inhale to restack. Lengthen the spine first. Feel like you're reaching toward the foot as opposed to down to the knee. Let's go for four. And then rotate to face that leg. This time you can deepen the stretch over that leg before you restack the body. And let's repeat to the other side. So, bent leg, the heel is in line with the belly button and the nose. Thighs are evenly balanced, so same angle. And then wrap that strap around the base of the foot. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, spine stretch forward on that rotated angle. Inhale, restack. Exhale, face front. pelvis is staying neutral, staying up against that imaginary wall that's behind you. We take four of these. On the final one, you lengthen out through the spine, deepening the hamstring stretch before you flex the spine, peel the body up and let go of that strap to come into our side bends. Exhale to side bend over the leg. Keep the chest and the nose facing forward. Avoid any rotation on this one. Inhale, restack and lower the arm. Let's take four side bends. Rotate to face the leg on the final one. Deepen that stretch for the final time before you restack the spine all the way up to vertical. And lower the arm losing that strap. Sitting up, knees bent, feet flat, let's roll the body all the way down to a lying down position. Let's get a little bit of movement through that spine, this time tail to head. Hip rolls, exhale, imprint the lower spine, squeeze the glutes, peel the body up to a long diagonal line. Inhale, hold at the top, and exhale, soften the breastbone down to the floor and roll your body down one vertebrae at a time, releasing the glute squeeze at the end. Then just hug one knee into the chest. You can keep the other leg bent or lengthen it along the floor and let's have some ankle rolls. Four ankle rolls round in one direction before you reverse an ankle roll in the opposite direction. Then continuing to hold at the back of the leg, lengthen the leg toward the ceiling and bend. Remembering you can bend that opposite leg. If you really feel the pelvis start to pull and tuck under, then definitely bend the leg. We're aiming to stay as neutral in that pelvis area as possible. Now just to help with that hamstring stretch, grab the dressing gown belt, place it around the base of the foot and reach the leg up to the ceiling. So you're holding the ends of the belt. The upper arm is set down on the floor, the shoulders are wide. Once you've had a few breaths with the leg, just straight up toward the ceiling, take it out to the side, really keeping that pelvis balanced. Don't let yourself pull and tip over to the side. Then take the leg across the body. It may help to look in the opposite direction. Just make sure you hold each stretch for a couple of breaths and then we're gonna repeat everything on the opposite leg. Hug around the back of the leg behind the knee. Let's come into some ankle rolls. Four around in one direction, four around in the other direction. Option to keep the other leg bent if you need the help in placing the pelvis in neutral. And then we lengthen the leg up toward the ceiling and bend. If you're really feeling that pelvis start to pull and tuck under, just bend that opposite leg. Okay, let's grab that belt. Let's deepen the hamstring stretch. Set the upper arm down on the floor, shoulders wide. A few breaths with the leg straight up to the ceiling. Take the ends of the band into the same arm as the leg and open the leg out to the side. Keep the pelvis level, don't tip to the side. After a few breaths, change hands. Take the leg across the body. After a few breaths, return the leg to the center and let's lose that dressing gown belt for now. Grabbing a cushion, placing it on the mat, we're lying on the side of the body, reaching the hands forward in front of the chest, palm on top of palm, two legs bent, feet in line with the tail. Breathe in, reach the arm to the ceiling. Exhale, rotate, send the arm back. 
inhale hold and exhale return all the way back to your start position we're going to go for at least four of these now the lower half is staying relatively still at this point we're thinking about the upper body rotating on the lower body so once you've sent that arm up to the ceiling think about drawing that bottom rib back away from the hip and then just hold that deep rotation stretch and just to deepen it a little bit more almost feel like you're sighing into that position melting almost into that stretch let's take it onto the other side so knees bent knees set in front of you feet in line with the tail reaching the arms directly in front of the chest palm facing palm Inhale, send the arm up. Exhale, rotate, hold it. Deepen that stretch by taking a sigh. Even flip the direction that the palm is facing. Just change the focus of the stretch. You can decide to change the angle of the arm throughout the exercise so it simultaneously just changes from palm up to palm down. Or you can actively do it in the sigh. Draw that bottom rib away from the hip, rotating from the waist. Once you've done four, so you're balanced, we are done with that cushion. Okay, coming into a four-point kneeling position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, we cat stretch. We flex the spine and we return it to neutral. Exhale, tuck the tail round the spine, drop the head at the end. Inhale, release from tail to head back to a neutral position, making sure we don't over sink into the lower back or crank into the back of the neck. Also think about the shoulders at the end, really widen the shoulders. Once we've done four, we're then going to come into the extension. So exhale, extend the spine, inhale, return to neutral. So although we are extending, don't sink into the body. Still feel the abs support you. Feel that lift from the corset. Almost feel like I'm pulling the head in one direction and the tail in the other. Okay, continuing some spinal extension. Coming down onto the stomach on the mat. Let's come into some swan dive. Legs hip distance turned out. Arms resting on the mat at the side of you. Inhale, roll a marble away from under the nose. Exhale, lengthen up into full spinal extension. Inhale, hold, and exhale, gently lie yourself down, returning to your start position. So you wanna think about finding an even curve all the way from the tail to the head. No sinking into the lower back. So really feel that lift through the abdominals. Feel like you're tucking the pelvis under. If the hip bones leave the floor, that's perfectly fine. The arms are there to assist you, but don't do too much of a push up from the arms. Once you've done four repetitions, press back into a shell stretch, really flexing through that lumbar spine. Coming back to a four point knee, let's work into a little side bend here. Think about sending the ear to the hip. Four side bends, two sets. and gently roll up onto the knees. Okay, quads and hamstrings, big step forward. Hands either side of the front foot, driving the weight of the pelvis forward. We're aiming to get a long straight line from front knee to back knee, front knee over the heel. Then into our first hamstring stretch, send the weight back over the back foot, sitting down, draping the body forward over that front leg. Second quad stretch, returning to the same position. You can hold this if this is enough, or pick up that back foot, reach the opposite hand back and over, holding it for support. Drive the weight of the pelvis forward. Second hamstring stretch, repeating exactly the same, but don't sit yourself back to the heel. Final quad stretch. We're gonna tuck the toes under, press the heel away, and lengthen the back leg. If you can, we're going to add a little rotation. Rotate toward that front leg, reaching the top arm up to the ceiling. Returning the hands to the floor, this time draw that back leg in slightly and take a standing hamstring stretch. Legs parallel, hip distance apart, slightly staggered. We transition to the other side. First quad stretch, back knee down, hands either side of the foot. Exhale, drive the weight of the pelvis forward. Transition the weight back over that back foot. Drape the body forward over that front leg. Now 
returning to that kneeling lunge position. If available, pick up that back foot. Opposite hand reaches back. Grab hold of that foot. Open up through the shoulders, front knee over the heel. Aiming for that straight line from knee to knee. Okay, second hamstring stretch. Drive the weight back. This time, don't sit back onto the heel. Even out, balance out the hips. Final quad stretch, tuck the toes under, press the heel away. Try and keep the body down. Don't lift up too much as you stretch that back leg. Rotate toward that front leg. And final standing hamstring stretch. Try not to let that one hip creep forward. Try and level out the hip placement. Okay, joining the legs together, crouching down. Three gentle bounces. Be careful with the knees. And stretching up. Send the heels down as you send the tail up, relaxing into the head and neck area. You're almost aiming to keep the tummy stuck on the thighs for as long as possible. And gently roll up to standing, one vertebrae at a time, head up last. Let's come into some pony trots for some ankle mobility. Just shifting the weight, one leg to the other, lifting one heel, pressing the other heel down to the floor, driving that heel forward over the second and third toe. Then a standing quad stretch, holding that back foot. Drive that thigh back. If it helps for the balance, send the opposite arm up to the ceiling. Hold for a good four to five breaths before repeating on the other side. It may help to slightly bend your standing leg in order to tuck the pelvis under slightly and deepen that stretch. Working into some hip mobility, floating one leg off the floor, just turn the leg in and turn the leg out, sending it across you and then opening out to the side. Four to five sets on each side. Standing in a wide second position, take a plie. Just place the elbows on the inside of the knee and just rock side to side, feeling the stretch through the inner thigh. Rolling the body up, standing in a wide parallel second position. Side bend, swing the body down, through, around the other side and back up. We repeat on the other side, softening the knees as the body is hanging forward over the legs and then return the feet to hip distance apart. Let's finish with a roll down. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest, roll down. Heavy arms, heavy head, knees bending at the bottom. Inhale, fill the lungs with air and exhale, roll the body all the way up to standing. We're done. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, like and subscribe to be the first to receive new videos through my channel when they come out. My Instagram handle is linked below, as is my website. Once again, thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon.